nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Here's Anderson as they begin this series on the ground. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And now he'll turn and off his back foot into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. He violated a big-time no-no in throwing that pick, rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time, not the case. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. They run again with a Jai. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Wentz to throw on third and one. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big gain of 31 on third down. It's hard to play in the NFL now as a running back and not catch the football as well. Jay Ajayi shows what you can do when you have both of those skills. Good in space, isn't he? He really is able to catch the ball, and he helps create blocks downfield a lot of times that's, a, that's what people miss it's not just making other guys miss you it's setting up guys to block those guys downfield with the moves you make and Jay Ajayi does that very well the Panthers are going to take another timeout so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime Wentz going to lead his guys up first and ten and he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game now a play fake here on first down. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A very solid gain of 27. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They go play action here on first down. Mario Addison in there to get him his second sack now of the Blitz, afternoon. Blitz, Blitz, Blitz. Blitz. On second down, here's Wentz. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, and it's third down. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turned into a nice play. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and goal. From the gun, it's Wentz. He finds a Jay. And a stop will come inside the five at the four. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. They'll 
He'll go for it. It's Wentz. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty... and cushion he said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them yeah they've got the cushion this half has been theirs so that drive goes eight plays the result philadelphia in the end zone <laughs> elliott now to kick this one away That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jordan Hicks in from his linebacker spot he's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. now they got to get to the line quickly to throw on second down is newton eluding the pressure right they find some open field he's the can fighting he lost the football it's out and it's picked up by the eagles He had gained really good yardage. That's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. And throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Trying for the tight end. Ertz and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl Luke Kinkley that picks it. Here's Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Play action. Newton. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. So we've come to half top. And just like that, on we head to half number two.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Flushed out right. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Skirts by him at the 35. Wow, incredible. Miss, miss. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. They fake the game. Newton. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and they're going to face a third down. Come on now. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Newton now to throw. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And Jupiter. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Cam Newton, 29 yards. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Gano out to kick this one away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Here's Newton. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. And it's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. On second down, here's Newton. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Oh, 
we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore, I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Now Newton on third and goal. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. On fourth down, Newton. And that's going to be caught by Funches for a Carolina touchdown. Devin Funches there to make the grab. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. This is taken about seven yards deep. A little juke. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. K1 short. Continuing to fight downfield, the big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. Now wins. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Room past the 20. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Breaks the tackle. Now an alley. That goes for a gain of 31. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. Now wins. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll bring up a second down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. An agile move and a nice game, then dropped at the 25-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Again, it's Wentz. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Panthers have recovered. And welcome back. We are in the city of Brotherly Love, Philadelphia. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 15. Following the fumble recovery, Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Finding room at the 30. Whoa, shifty. Whoa. The gain of 39 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Now it's Newton. And now he'll tuck it and run. 
Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. On first down, Newton. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Brandon Graham in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Here's Newton now on second down. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turn over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing. But I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. Wentz going to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Dontari Poe. Forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. Wentz to throw on second down. They set up the screen to Ajayi. Got some room at the 30. Ajayi escapes him. And he gets this one down to the 24. A huge play there on the screen pass. And even 60 yards. On first down, Wentz. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz with touchdown pass number four on the afternoon. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Forced out to his left. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Charles, there's something special about one of those big D linemen bringing it in. Off the tip there, really nice coordination. Very much so. And I think what we've seen, and I'm going to put it in about the last five years, maybe a little bit longer, coaches placing a bigger emphasis on ball drills, even for defensive linemen, because possession is so key. And you've got a chance to take one away. You want people comfortable with the football, and it paid off there. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Handoff comes to Anderson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. Dancing to his left. Must still shoot. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a 
big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Completes it to a Ajayi. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Wentz now to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Here's Wentz to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it real. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. To throw, it's Wentz. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right
there. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Go, go. Indeed, snap it. Wins. Being chased out left. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Wins to throw. And incomplete. I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Wins. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now it's a giant. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second down, here's Wentz. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. The Eagles on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Eagles on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Working from the gun, Wentz. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. Doug Patterson's guys come up empty here on fourth down. And the Panthers will get the football back. Now a first down throw for Newton. Buying time to his left. Finding room at the 30. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for the quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call Ooh. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And the Eagles have recovered. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes. Because of all the points, 